tech and digital sector is going to bring the power of cognitive technology to the world. That means the ability to shift from a reactive to a proactive world to create new experiences that can make the human's life easier, healthier, safer, and more productive. I'm Joseph Bradley, father, digital humanist, and the sector head for tech and digital. I'm Nazik Al Atab, an assistant professor of electrical and computer engineering at King Abdullah University of Science and Technology. To be a change maker is to want the world to be a better place. To be focused, to be humble, and to be passionate about something that is bigger than oneself. Hi, Nazik. How are you? Hi, Joseph. I'm good. How are you? It's great to meet you. Super excited to have a great conversation today. Tell me, what? How'd you get involved in tech? I mean, what what inspired you? So the research in the fields of electronic devices and systems allow me to contribute to technological advances that can solve global challenges and that can make the human's life easier, healthier, safer, and more productive. This has been the source of my inspiration, and this is what I would like to achieve through my research. That's really great. You know, when I was growing up, I had a, a grandfather that was very, very close uh, to me. He always uh, would talk about transforming a, a city, a, a people, and it was all about as you move data and decision-making as close as you can to the customer, value improves exponentially. And that's what I love about you know, your, your work. It's all about the people and, and being able to bring technology you know, to them. So Joseph, uh, tell me what was your proudest moment? Well, you know, uh, definitely I would get in trouble if I didn't say it, and I mean it, um, being uh, married to my wife for over 30 years. <laughs> but in terms of technology, um, I would have to say it was working with some incredible people at Cisco to uh, create Internet of Everything, be a part of that team to kind of birth that vision and bring it to life. Was there a single person in your life that really excited you about technology? Um, actually, it was an elective course that I took during my undergraduate studies. Um, right. So at high school, I used to like math and physics. And so my parents suggested that I do uh, computer and communications engineering. Uh, as I took the courses, I realized that I wasn't really passionate about what I was learning. And then when I took the introduction to nanotechnology course, uh, and the professor used to explain to us how we can tune the properties of the material as we play with the dimensions, it was very inspiring. I decided to shift majors and to do uh, microsystems engineering and to do my research in a university. That's incredible, wow. I don't think I had that focus. Yeah, I was an only child for 11 years. And um, in that time, I got introduced to my first video game. And it was a basketball game where you could punch the digits and you could move around and you could try to score. <laughs> and to me, it was about how can I involve myself in a, in a field or in a work that allows me to touch so many different people. And I think that's what's so exciting. So what was your favorite piece of technology growing up as a young lady? I would say the TV remote control. Uh, you know, when it fell down and it got dismantled and I saw the green PCB, I got curious to understand how it works. And in fact, I have worked on the development of a smart system that allows us to control uh, the TV settings using hand gestures and uh, computer vision. That's really great. Is there, is there any uh, technology that can have a huge impact uh, between now and the next few years? I can give an example that I have worked on, uh, which is in uh, a multi-dimensional integrated circuit. So this system is uh, ultra small, it's lightweight, it is nature-inspired, where we have integrated on the outer sides water quality sensors and air quality sensors, while on the inner sides we have integrated the brain, uh, the power and data management circuitry, and then it's encapsulated and packaged using an eco-friendly material, such that when it's thrown into the water, it will autonomously adjust its position and start collecting data about the water quality and sending them in real time uh, to the farmer. So I believe that, especially here at CAS, we have been working on uh, different exciting technologies from wearables to drug delivery systems to robotics. So this is a solar cell that shows world record uh, stretchability and flexibility with high efficiency and ultra lightweight. And in fact, based on this work, we were able to secure the first international fund from Lockheed Martin, where we have shown uh, the extension of the flight time of drones uh, using these solar cells. I love all the tech that you talked about. Metaverse for me is an exciting, great technology. And I think a whole set of unique experiences. So it's just super exciting to see about what's happening. Can you tell me about some of the technologies that you're developing at Neom? One of the greatest challenges that we face uh, at Neom as we think about building a cognitive city, 
How do you build trust? Uh, you know, no trust means no data. No data means no value. When you think about the technologies that we're working on, it really centers around artificial intelligence, robotics, and like human machine interface technology. So natural language processing, multi-purpose robots, robots that can change their purpose for you in life. And then probably the human machine interface technologies or HMI, where these are, are technologies that allows you to be more of you and the best of you possible. And one of the things I hope that we can inspire is that we can have an environment in technology that is truly inclusive of all peoples and all viewpoints and get everyone excited. That's great. Well, I have to tell you, it was great meeting you and I really enjoyed our conversation. Hope you have a great day and I can't wait to watch the rest of your career. Thank you, Joseph. The pleasure is all mine.